What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be going over Sundial Growers, ticker symbol SNDL. This stock had an absolutely crazy run over the past couple of weeks, and it recently just had a massive sell-off. So we're going to go over exactly what is happening with the share price of Sundial Growers. And if I think it is too late to invest in this company, and specifically what we need to be looking out for from this company and some news articles that need to come out in the future in order to consider putting any more money into this company. Now, I also have a pretty interesting option strategy that you can use on Sundial Growers. Now, it looks like you can make around 8% per week with this strategy on Sundial Growers, so make sure you stick around uh, to figure out exactly what this strategy is and how to use it to your advantage. So before we get into all of that information, if you guys enjoy this video, please go down and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell if you want to see more videos like this so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones and see exactly which options I am trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. So there are three main reasons why Sundial Growers and all of the other pot stocks were rocketing over the past couple of weeks. If we come over here, we can actually see Democratic senators will push to pass pot reform bill this year. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and two other Democratic senators said that they will push to pass this year sweeping legislation that would end the federal prohibition on marijuana. Pot has been legalized to some degree by many states. The war on drugs has been a war on people, particularly people of color, said a statement issued by Schumer of New York and Senator Cory Booker. So Sundial Growers is a Canadian company, and if the United States were to federally decriminalize marijuana, they would actually be able to get their products to more states in the United States at a larger scale, which would end up boosting their revenue. Now, the second part of why Sundial Growers and a lot of the other stocks like this really shot up over the past couple of weeks is this right here. So if we come over to Finviz, we can see the short float for Sundial Growers is about 16 to 17 percent. So that's nothing crazy like we saw with GameStop AMC, but it is still very high. And when the stock moves up so rapidly, like we saw here, we saw it have a massive run up here and then it kind of settled off and then ripped up again. Uh, that is most likely the result of a small short squeeze. And once we saw Sundial Growers kind of top out, uh, and we see this a lot with stocks like this, when, when these small cap stocks rip up uh, over 100 or 200 percent in a short amount of time we usually see a very sharp pullback in the short term uh, because the stock just gets overextended but if you are long-term bullish on sundial growers and you were able to buy in at these low prices you are actually doing very well right now and sundial growers was able to maintain their listing on the nasdaq because they maintained the one dollar closing bid for 10 days which is the requirement to maintain listing status on the nasdaq NASDAQ. So you don't really have anything to worry about in that respect right now with Sundial Growers. Now, the next thing that really pushed Sundial Growers higher, uh, it kind of ties in with the really uh, high short interest, but Sundial Growers and a lot of the other weed stocks were the next hot thing on all of the Reddit forums, especially Wall Street Bets. And when a lot of people get behind a stock, Wall Street Bets has about 9 million members now. Uh, a couple months ago, they only had about a million or 2 million members. So there are a lot more people that can be influenced by a really high volume of people talking about the same stock. So people were talking about Sundial Growers uh, constantly, and that's another reason why I think we saw the stock price rip up so much. So in general, I think that it is not a great time to get into Sundial Growers. As we saw at the end of January, the stock was trading at about 78 cents and topped out almost around $3 before coming back down to this 208, 205 range. What I think we need to see out of Sundial Growers in order to be able to put more money into this company is 
actual legislation being discussed. So the article that I just showed you was just a statement by Chuck Schumer and Cory Booker saying that they want to uh, provide legislation and create legislation to reform, re uh, reform actual uh, marijuana legislation. We actually haven't seen any uh, actual writing or any actual documents come out that are going to be discussed and debated in order to be passed. So what we need to wait on is actual legislation. Now, I think we could see this legislation happen over the next two years. Now, the reason for that is because the midterm elections are happening in 2022. And if the Republicans are able to take over uh, either the Senate or the House when they have the midterm elections, it's going to be a lot harder to pass uh, marijuana reform legislation uh, to decriminalize it federally uh, because Republicans are classically not in favor of these types of bills. So once we get actual talks of real legislation, that's when I think the time is going to be to maybe buy into these uh, marijuana stocks. So we saw after Biden was elected, these pot stocks went absolutely insane. And the statements uh, provided by Chuck Schumer and Cory Booker did help out with the rally. But at this point, the stocks, in my opinion, are overextended. They've had a pretty significant sell-off, bounced back up a little bit. But in general, these stocks are a little bit too risky right now in my opinion but we do have a couple of options on how to actually make some money off of these stocks since their implied volatility has absolutely went crazy over the past couple of months so if we come over here to the option chain for sundial growers we're actually going to be looking at selling some cash secured puts so essentially what this is going to do is if you have any extra cash sitting in your account and you think that you want to get into sundial growers for the long term but you think that the current price that it is trading at is a little too high and you think that there is some downside risk, what you can do is sell some cash-secured puts. So what you are going to do is uh, in order to sell a cash-secured put, you have to put up the collateral in order to buy 100 shares of the stock at the specific strike price that you choose. So if you were to choose this $1.50 uh, strike, you would have to put up $150 in order to enter this trade, but you would collect $12 in premium for every contract that you sold. Now, if you divide 12 by 150, that is about an 8% return. And this is just the February 19th expiration date. So you could sell 10 of these, 100 of these. You could keep selling these cash secured puts and collect about 8% every single week. Now, what's great about these is that if the stock goes below $1.50 and you actually are fine with owning 100 shares uh, or more of Sundial Growers at $1.50, you would just have to buy the shares at $1.50, take a small loss in the short term. But if you like the company uh, over the next five to 10 year investment horizon, that should be no big issue to you. And if the stock does not go below $1.50, you can just keep collecting these premiums every single week and create some passive income for yourself. Now we can also take a look at some other expiration dates. These options on this chain are actually priced pretty decently. We do see the implied volatility is absolutely insane, which makes this a great scenario to actually sell some options. So if we go out to the February 26th, uh, we, you could do the same strike and collect $25, but this just gives an extra week of time. But this is still uh, 16%, uh, so these options are actually priced pretty well. Uh, if you wanna actually go with the uh, the weeklies, I think that would be a better option, but nothing I say in these videos is financial advice. These are just for educational purposes only, but if you do like sundial growers for the long term, and you want to get in at a lower price, selling these cash secured puts is always a great option. And you're basically just taking the free cash that you have in your account and earning interest on it while uh, having the opportunity to own a stock that you like from the long term at a lower price. So that is going to be it for this update on Sundial Growers. Uh, just going over everything uh, in short that we covered in this video, I think we need to see uh, some actual hard legislation efforts in order to actually get in to this stock for the long term. I think it's a little bit overextended right now, even though we saw a pretty massive sell-off. So legislation needs to come in, in my opinion. And we do have an option to make some money on Sundial Growers in the short term by selling those cash-secured puts. So that's going to be it for this update on Sundial Growers. If you guys enjoyed the information that I provided for you in this video, please go down and smash that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, 
make sure you hit the big red subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones, and see exactly which options I am trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. So I hope you guys are having a great long weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next video.